fit back then and I was sleeping with him with no clothes, almost without shirt. And um, I grew up that way and my my dad get uh, married again with somebody else's stepmom, which she was a witch and she tried to kill me, kill me and my brothers. And um, at the age of 16 years old, uh, I decided to go away from them and I come over here and I don't know what was the plans that God got with me. But then my heart was broken pieces and I just come over here thinking just one, one word, the death. And I wasn't caring of my life. I just want to die by then. When I get over here, I start to uh, drink and get drunk because the same situation that I was carrying on my back, on my past, on my family. And time later, I meet Jesus. I know Jesus, I accept Jesus, and He changed my life, and I get married, I get married in 2003, and my thought was, I had to carry my, to take care of my family, my wife, and I, I'm going to be different on my family, I was trying to break that, uh, that, uh, um, generational curse. Generation of curses, yes. And I, I want to be the best husband. But I don't realize by then that the devil has a trap with me. He made me curses on my uh, past. And like six months ago, my wife started to work. And like one month ago, I realized that she committed adultery. And that's when my world just fell out. And I was carrying with that on my back, I was carrying my mind, I was the feel real, real bad, just about to, to die. But God was taking care of me. And then this morning, I come to Miss Jeannie's house, which is one of my uh, mentors and basically my spiritual mom. And then she, God spoke to her. And she told me to come over here with Pastor Danny, Danny. and Richard. And Richard, Pastor Richard, and I come over here to look for some help to my body, for my heart, for my mind, to liberate it. And um, it really changed my life. It changed my life. We pray, and He take all the curses that I got upon me. My back I feel like lighter, a, a lot lighter than what it was. In my mind, it just looked clearly. And all I can say, God is good. Amen. God is good all the time. Amen. Jesus. And it Lord. doesn't matter what what's what's happened, what you're going through your life. God is always good mm. because Amen. He's taking care of every single details of our life. Mm. And he, they pray for me. He take all the curses upon me, all the childhood bitterness that I was carrying up. 